OK, so first things first, we notice that right now we have a hyperbola. right? And just like what I've done in the other problems, guys, just like an ellipse, the first thing I always like to do is identify a, b, and my c. But remember, since this is a hyperbola, right? because you're subtracting, my a squared is always my first term. So now it's not the largest. a squared now is equal to 16. So therefore, a is equal to 4. b squared is equal to 25. b is equal to 5. Remember, a, b, and c represent the same thing. a is the distance from the center to your vertices. b is the distance from your center to your co-vertices. And then c is the distance from your center to your foci. So remember, the equation to find c, c squared equals a squared uh, plus b squared, different from an ellipse. So therefore, I'm just adding 6. So therefore, c squared equals square root of 41. Oops, I'm sorry. c squared equals 41. And we're identifying the foci. Yep. So c equals square root of 41. And we're just going to be dealing again with the positive distance. Okay. Notice, guys, I'm not subtracting anything from my x and my y. So my center is going to be 0, 0. Okay. Now, my a squared is under my x. So therefore, my transverse axis, right, which is the same thing as the, like the minor axis, my transverse axis is horizontal. So what I'm going to do is sketch a graph. I'm going to say, there's my center. My x-axis is my transverse axis. So I'm just going to label that so I don't forget. Transverse axis is where the vertices and my co-vertices lie. Yes? You said that it was the minor axis. No, major is the transverse. Major is the transverse. Foci and the vertices all lie on the transverse axis. OK? What? Oh, it did? I must have missed the, Must have been missing, mincing my words. I apologize. So anyways, if we have here as our center, and we know our vertices is left and right 4. I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4. That's one vertice, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my other vertice. OK? Um, to find my foci, that's going to be square root of 41. Well, guys, think about what, what square numbers are between are around 41. You have square root of 36, which is 6, and square root of 49, which is 7. So would you guys agree that square root of 41 is somewhere between 6 and 7? Does that kind of make a little sense? Yes? So we'll just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So between 6 and 7, foci, and 4, 5, 6, 7. OK? Now, um, we don't have to find the co-vertices, or at least I'm not asking. But I did ask to find the asymptotes. So I'm going to show you guys an easy way how to do the asymptotes, at least to graph them. Um, ba -ba -ba. So the best way to find the asymptotes, or to graph the asymptotes, is to find the co-vertices, which would be 5 along the conjugate axis. So I'd go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's covertice and down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Covertice. Now, to draw, to find the asymptotes, the best thing to do is to create a box with your covertices and your vertices, not your foci. So create a little box with your covertices and your vertices. Then what you can do is connect your corners going through your center. Okay, Those are your asymptotes. And now it's much easier for me to sketch my graph of my hyperbola. Because remember, asymptotes is where your graph approaches. Right? Did everybody say that? Kind of? This isn't really part of the graph. It's kind of like a dashed line. I'll probably use another color. OK. Does everybody kind of see? Look, see my hyperbolas? Look pretty. Now, the last thing is identifying the equation of the hyperbola. So we got to know these formulas. So the equation of a line is um, for a horizontal ellipse is y um, equals plus or minus b over a times x minus h plus k. That's the equation of your asymptote. That's the equation of these. And guys, do we have all this information we need? Yes, we do. y equals plus or minus b, which is 5, over a, which is 4, times x minus 0. So that's just going to be x. And k is 0, and h is k 0. So we're good.
That's all we need to do. Oh, we need to identify these points, right? Sorry about that. Center 0, 0. Foci um, is going left and right, right? So it's left and right C. So I could do plus or minus square root of 41, comma, 0. And my vertices is plus or minus 4, comma, 0. Vertices, foci, and center, as well as asymptotes. So it's kind of the same thing. The only thing I'm kind of changing on you is your a squared, your b squared,